I'm with Craig Johnson and Piper Jaffrey here at The Money Show. Craig, we had an interesting thing happen in 1982. Uh, interest rates started going down. Um, it went down for a long time. Maybe one of the longest bull markets in history. 36 years. That would, uh, that would qualify as a long time. It's the longest trend that you and I are going to see in our investment careers. So, <clears throat> if you look at the charts, which you do, uh, <clears throat> something happened around July of 2016. Some people argue maybe a little earlier, a little later. But something's happened with interest rates, and I noticed that the 10-year today hit a seven-year high. Correct. What's going on? Terrific question, and I look at the careers that a lot of people have, and mm -hmm. Andrew Duff, a man who is uh, just retired from Piper Jaffray as our CEO, um, still on the board, terrific CEO, started his career in the early, uh, late 1970s, before rates peaked and started to roll over, right. and just retired. So he played the rate cycle absolutely perfectly. It's amazing. It's absolutely perfect. His entire career is had nothing but a declining rate environment. Interesting. Now we're at a point in time, though, mm -hmm. where we're going to be facing a rising rate environment, right. like we had seen from the 1940s all the way up until War 81. Mm -hmm. And equities worked beautifully from the 40s until the mid-60s. And that mid-60s is when we started going through a 5 6% 10-year bond yield. Yeah. That is kind of the demarcation point between wanting to own equities versus wanting to own bonds. And what we're seeing happening right now is very similar to that 1940s and 50s period of time where rates are reversing and starting to go up. Equities can go up. Rates can go up at the same time. But once you hit this mm -hmm. level of about 5 6%, your bull market is over. Okay. okay, it's over. But rates have reversed, and I have some meaningful concerns about this reversal in rates. Okay. First and foremost, I keep thinking about portfolio insurance in 87. Ooh. Rates went too far, too fast, caused a problem. Right. I think about 2013 with the taper tantrum. Right. Rates too far, too fast. Right. I think about this year. We saw just a 30 basis point, really quick advance in the right, long right. end of the bond. Uh, the, the short volatility funds had mm -hmm. a problem and basically were closed down. So I'm worried about rates going too far too fast on a 36 year downtrend reversal. I know as a technician mm -hmm. that when you reverse a longer term downtrend, you usually get this momentum response and then you back up and then you start your trend higher from there, starting to make a series of higher highs and higher lows after that. Right, right. But right now, rates are gonna continue to push higher I'm worried that with all the financial engineering that has occurred over the last 10 to 20 years, and the fact that there's more ETFs than stocks in the market, ah, okay. that there could be some problems and some volatility that could uh, start to unfold. See, now you, you opened the door to one of my favorite topics, which is the way, ETF, I'm glad I did. The, way, the way that ETFs are structured. Right. Some are very vanilla, okay? They simply try to replicate the index. Mm -hmm. Some of them get really fancy, okay? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> My thought is the ones that try to get fancy, you're gonna have some problems if rates back up too, sure. too far too fast, just like you said. Okay, from 1929 to like 1995, the Dow kind of stayed in a, a range between a 3% dividend yield and a 6% dividend mm -hmm. yield. Okay, and then in 1995, because of a convolution of events, the yield on the Dow went to 1.5%, okay? okay. <laughs> Equities went higher. Equities did go high. Well, was there any other place to go? No. Okay, so um, if this all reverses on us, I mean, it begs the question. Uh, you can't get out of stocks. Correct. Okay, um, but you can manage it. Okay, what areas do you like the best in a rising inflation, rising interest rate environment? Well, right now in a rising interest rate, rising uh, bond market at this point in time, I'm focused on, with our relative strength work, I see commodities starting to work. Okay. I'm seeing energy names really starting to work. Okay. I really think we're at a point in time where those sectors will do well. Mm -hmm. I would also think that if the curve could steepen a little bit, which hasn't been the case, right, right. we could see the financials start to do well in it's that environment. Flat. Stocks like Schwab, Ameritrade, okay. if with Fed keeps raising rates at the short end, will probably also do very well in that kind of environment. But it's going to be more stock specific than what I think a lot of people realize. Your, okay. REITs, your REITs will not do well in that kind of environment. Okay, yeah. okay, that's interesting, that's interesting. I could do this with you all day long. We could, it'd be um, fun too. Unfortunately, they're going to cut us off. I'm with Craig Johnson of Piper Jaffrey. Thank you for joining us.